Good morning. So, I'm here at JFK. Uh, gonna go find a train or something. Yep, this is the one we want. This is the one we want. We're here, waiting for my first subway ride in New York. First time on the subway. Tons of people. It's cool. Because I fell asleep like four times. <laughs> I just got to the hotel, well, no, I just woke up, I died, like, I got home to the hotel and I just crashed in my room, I just fell asleep, but, um, it's beautiful outside. I'm dressed up now, and I'm gonna go to Central Park because it's almost 6 o'clock, and I think my phone says that sundown is at 6.50, so I wanted to see Central Park during the daytime, and so I'm waiting for my Uber, and I'm gonna take that there, and then go eat after, so I'm gonna be starving, but maybe I'll get some food there, I don't know. Just going on adventures and stuff. Thank you so much, man. So, just got out of my Uber and now I'm heading to Central Park South. I'm walking around Central Park. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. There's lots of trees and stuff. People like running and stuff. Um, first impression of New York. I don't know. It's really unique. Um, I've always heard so many stories, I've seen so many movies that take place here, but I don't know, it's so much different when you're here in person, you know, like, I just walk around and I, just, I just can't help but smile, so I feel like everyone thinks I'm crazy, because I'm just on the subway, it's like 6 in the morning, like, <laughs> smiling, and uh, now I'm walking around the park in boots, and I'm going to see the park, I don't know, I wanted to check it out before the sun went down, and I want to go eat, and I... What is over there? So right there, if you see that, that's the carousel. That is in Central Park, and it's beautiful. I'm gonna go check it out closer. The carousel was cash only, and I don't have any cash on me, so I can't ride it. But look at this view. Of all the buildings and the baseball field, and it's so pretty. Right now I'm like hanging out on this rock thing, and it might be kind of dangerous getting down. I didn't really think this through. But look how dope it is around here. It's so nice and pretty. This is an example of me looking at my phone for too long. I was looking at my phone for an Uber. I forgot that there's just horses here. <laughs> Guys. Bye, Central Park. So I'm in my Uber and we're gonna go get some food now because I'm starving. My Uber just dropped me off. Um, and I'm on, I don't know what street this is, but I think that's the ramen place over there. There's a line. Okay, so this is the ramen place I'm at. And I think I'm gonna get the spicy. Seasoned egg. I hope it's soft boiled because those are my favorite. So it's not that long. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm so excited to have my ramen right now. Everyone here. And my first New York ramen. There's tons of people outside. And yeah, I'm gonna eat this now. Alright, bye. Ramen. And that was probably the best ramen I've had. And that was my first meal I had in New York. And it was like the best thing ever. All right, off to Times Square, I guess. Uh, Gallagher. Uh, they have all this dry aged meat here. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. <laughs> but we're getting closer to Times Square now. Um, as you can tell, you start to see like billboards and stuff up there. So I think I'm getting closer. Guys, so I'm almost to Times Square. But right now I'm under like some scaffolding. I just thought it looked kind of cool. I was thinking maybe I should go watch like a play tonight. I, I gotta see what like what's on Broadway and maybe go check out a play. So that'd be kind of fun. Just all by myself. <laughs> Made it. I'm here. Oh wow. There's so many things to like look at. Jesus. I'm gonna try to take a selfie in a second, but for now I'm gonna make a video for you guys. Um, I think I might see a show tonight. I'm not sure. I looked at the board and I didn't think there was anything I really wanted to watch besides The King and I. Maybe I'd watch that. But everything else is kind of eh. Left Times Square and I'm walking back to my hotel now. And I think I'm walking in a little Brazil. There's a TGI Friday now. Which is kind of confusing. But um, I decided I, I don't think I want to go see a play today. I'm back in Times Square. It's probably going to be a reoccurring thing in my vlogs because I got lost. <laughs> As you can tell by now, I'm terrible with directions, and so I'm lost right now. Just kidding, I'm not that lost, but I'm, I'm going back to the hotel. I, I had a, I, even on maps. Okay, 
it's kind of not really my fault because Apple Maps, in like downtown area situations, it has um, has these like issues like figuring out where you are. So I was walking and it didn't tell me I was going the wrong way for like 10 minutes. So I was going the wrong way <laughs> in 10 minutes, but it's good. We're on the right track now. As it gets darker and darker, I start to fall more and more in love with this city. It's crazy. Everything is so beautiful. It's just so alive. Everyone, like there's a guy behind me, he has like a, an instrument on his back. And he probably just got done doing rehearsal. Reminds me a lot of LA, but it has a whole different swagger to it. It's like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just really cool. And everyone just has this like fast attitude, you know, I gotta get this done fast, I gotta do this fast. And it is really inspiring, but it's really cool. I just, I really like it. I hope um, one day I can, I can book a job here and like work here for like two months because, wow, it is just amazing. It has a whole different feel and so many different like flavors of people and smells and sights. So I'm doing this script right now. You know the script I showed you back in the scene? I'll bring it back here. Pretty easy, carry on luggage, script to study. The Red Coat, and it's written by John Patrick Shanley. And he's actually from New York and you know, from the Bronx and he writes a lot about normal people in the Bronx. And in my script, it talks about, it talks about the street light, like this kid is confessing his love to this girl and he's kind of drunk. He's only like 17, but he's confessing his love to this girl. And he talks about the streetlight that's just so beautiful and, and yellow. And he usually thought streetlights were ugly and blue, but this one's yellow. And I look up and I see the streetlight and it's like so beautiful here too. I'm like, that's where he got it. And like, he talks about how it shines down through the leaves and the leaves are so green. And then he tells her that he loves her. And like, look at, look at how it shines down through the leaves. I can't see the moon yet. He also talks a lot about the moon. Uh, the moon's not out yet, but Man, if this isn't research, I don't know what is. <laughs> it's so pretty. And, and the buildings, you know, help create an atmosphere for the beautiful streetlights. And we don't have streetlights like this in LA. Like, they're like LED streetlights and they're not as pretty. But wow, these are gorgeous. And I understand what he meant now. I mean, I get his point of view now. He was, you know, a little drunk, so he kept talking and talking, but they, it is beautiful. I'm tired to talk about how I felt in the subway today. I tried, I really turned it on, I was like, ugh. But how I really felt in the subway, when, like, I've never been in a New York subway, I've been in other subways in, like, Europe and stuff, but when this subway came, and, like, that gust of, like, hot air hit you, and, like, the city just hit you, um, I mean, my friend was making fun of me, because he's like, oh, now you've been on your first New York subway, but it was really, like, an experience. Like, I went on, and I was like, wow. And I was just smiling like crazy. <laughs> like, and everyone in there was like tired and I was just smiling. I was like, wow, I'm in New York, you know? My acting coach just talks so much about New York and how it's so different and, and the people are so amazing. And um, it is, it's really, it's really fun and interesting. But being on that subway was just like, wow. Like I didn't know I could experience something like this in my life and I'm gonna experience so much more because I'm really young and I can't wait to actually just experience more things. And I can't believe I get to experience these things already. I'm so happy. Like even more of the street lights that are so yellow and yellow and yellow. Street lights that inspired John Patrick Shanley to write The Red Coat are all around me. Also in the scene, my character John is, you know, he's in love with this girl and he really wants to see her, but he's not at the she's not at the party. So he leaves the party to go sit on these stairs outside the party and um, he goes right here. I just imagine like stairs to be like this, right? Or he'd be sitting like somewhere in the corner. Because at one point she walks by and he goes, Hi Mary. And she's like, Oh, you're you're hiding. And he's like, Not from you, Mary. And I just imagine like stairs like that. And it's just great to ha to actually see it in like real life and see those stairs and just have that in my head and have the smells and the feel and just like all this emotion. I'm feeling emotion right now and it's crazy just to like be here. I, st I know I won't shut up about this, but the scene is really great and it's really cool to be able to be in an area like this where I can really relate to it. This is a small aircraft carrier, guys. It's not even full size, like mega aircraft. This is one they just made into a museum. It's not even that big, but it's big. It's huge. It's humongous. Oh my gosh. Glass building. We're too lazy to go up there, but this is as far as we're going to see. That's MSG. Woo! I've never been, but I heard there's cool there things ben. and concerts. That's close enough. That counts. Close enough. Part of New York is so New York. It's ridiculous. Tons of people everywhere. 
And yeah, we're just chilling. There's some taxi cabs. We're going to the Empire State Building. Right mean, now we're in a very cramped elevator. I think this is actually hilarious. <laughs> closely right there that's where we're going next but my phone's probably gonna die so just look at it now <laughs> all right guys I'm gonna end the vlog here um, yeah because my phone's about to die so I don't think it's gonna make it so I'm just gonna end it here where there's light there's some of New York I'm gonna go check out the south side now <laughs>